defects in solids. Defects are mainly two types. They are point defects and line defects. Point defects are due to deviation around a point or an atom in a crystal. Line defects are due to deviation in the entire rows of lattice points. 1. Point defects. Point defects, impurity, non-stoichiometric, and stoichiometric defects. A. Impurity defect. This defect is due to the impurity in the crystal. For example, in molten NaCl, if SrCl2 is present, then some of the Na plus ions are occupied by Sr plus 2. Each Sr plus 2 replaces two Na plus ions. One of the sites is occupied and the other remains vacant. The vacancies are equal to number of Sr plus 2 ions. Another example is solid solution of Cl2 chlorine and AgCl, silver chloride. B. Non-stoichiometric defect. These are two types, metal excess defect and metal deficiency defect. Metal excess defect due to an ionic vacancy. It is due to the absence of an ion from lattice site, leaving a hole which is occupied by electron to maintain electrical neutrality. The anionic sites occupied by unpaired electrons are called F centers. German word Fabicentis means color center. More number of F centers, more will be the intensity of color. NaCl, sodium chloride, is an yellow. LiCl, lithium chloride, is pink. Metal excess defect due to presence of extra cation at interstitial sites, example, ZNO, zinc oxide. This is due to the movement of metal ions to interstitial sites and the electrons to neighboring interstitial sites. Example, ZNO, zinc oxide, is white when cold and yellow when hot because it loses oxygen and Zn plus two ions occupy the interstitial sites. Metal deficiency defect, example, FeO, ferrous oxide. This is due to absence of a metal ion from its lattice site and charge is balanced by ion having higher positive charge. Generally, transition elements exhibit this defect. FeO, ferrous oxide, is mostly found with a composition of Fe 0 0.960. It may range from Fe 0 0.930 to Fe 0 0.960. Stoichiometric defects. Vacancy defects and interstitial defect. These do not affect the stoichiometry of solids. These are called intrinsic or thermodynamic defects. It is of two types, A, vacancy, and B, interstitial defects. Vacancy and interstitial defects are shown by non-ionic solids. Vacancy defect. When some of the lattice sites are vacant, it exhibits vacancy defect. This results in decrease in density of the substance. Interstitial defects. When some of the constituent particles occupy an interstitial site, it exhibits interstitial defect. This results in increase in the density of the substance. Ionic solids have to maintain electrical neutrality, so they exhibit Frankel and Schottky defects. Frankel defect. This is observed when the smaller ion, cation, is dissociated from its normal site and occupy interstitial site. This does not change the density of the substance. This is shown by ionic solids where there is large difference in the size of ions and low coordination number 4 
to 6. Example, ZNS, zinc sulfide, AgCl, silver chloride, silver iodide, AgBr, silver bromide. Schottky defect. This is due to a vacancy at cationic site and equal number of vacancies at an ion site in order to maintain electrical neutrality. This decreases the density of solids. This is shown by ionic solids where cation and anion are having almost equal size and high coordination number 6 to 8. Example, NaCl, sodium chloride, CSCl, cesium chloride, AgBr, silver bromide, KCl, potassium chloride. AgBr, silver bromide, exhibit both Frankel and Schottky defect. Solids have a good range of electrical conductivity, 10 power minus 20 to 10 power 7 OHM inverse. M inverse. Solids are classified into three types based on conductivities.